exclusive update. The Department of Justice is now involved in the case we have been covering since last week as it relates to Mr. Vaughn, Mr. Castillo Vaughn, who is a prisoner in an Alabama state prison. I want to remind you, get you caught up and give you a background as to what's happening now. Here's some of the background. There's a man in the Alabama State Prison who is in this condition. Here it is, look at it, you see that? You see that, right? That's not some prisoner of war. This is a man inside of an Alabama State Prison. Here's what he looked like before, okay? I'm gonna give you the background to this insanity. A South Alabama woman is pleading for help after she received photos of her brother showing him in dire medical distress in a state prison. 32 year old Castelio Bond looking well enough and healthy in that picture, which was taken July 24th. He's currently an inmate at Elmore Correctional Facility. He began serving a 20 year sentence in 2019 for multiple convictions for burglary and unlawful breaking and entering a vehicle. He was up for parole in June, but was denied. He will be eligible again for parole consideration June of 2027. Now let's go back to these other pictures. This was on September 2nd, unable to sit up, obviously malnourished. His eyes almost rolling up into the back of his head. His sister, Cassie, detailed in Facebook, Wednesday, the horrific decline of her brother's health after receiving two photos of him this week with the message, get help, get help. This was Vaughn just two days ago. This was September 21st. Do you see this? It's hard to look at, I know. Promise you it's harder for him to go through it. It's harder for the family to know this is happening. Now I'm highlighting this story because for some reason, this state prison has some kind of control over the local media in Alabama, but they do not control me. On that day on Friday, I said exactly what I would do. I activated a private investigator and a civil rights attorney to go to the state of Alabama. I went to the state of Alabama on Friday night. I called the prison facility and made them aware that one or two things were going to happen on Saturday, either A, I would be assured that Mr. Vaughn was receiving medical care and his family could speak directly to him. Or B, you will have to call the local sheriff in order to arrest me from the premises of the institution of that particular jail. This is what happened. Cassie, the sister, I was able to make direct contact with her. I put her in contact with the civil rights attorney, Harry Daniels. Harry Daniels was able to talk directly to Mr. Vaughn on that Saturday and coordinated with Benjamin Crump and Lee Merritt. Now. Benjamin Crump, Lee Merritt and Harry Daniels are all representing Mr. Vaughn. In addition to that, the private investigator has uncovered systemic issues that are connected to Alabama state prison system at large. Also, I received exclusive, exclusive information that the Department of Justice has now gotten involved. They visited Mr. Vaughn yesterday in order to make an inquiry as to what happened to him. Yesterday on the show, we had an exclusive interview with Cassie Vaughn, the sister who posted this information. Here's part of what she said. I visited Mr. Vaughn yesterday after I was not entering to the prison. They called me and let me know to come back and visit him. Mr. Vaughn is still in the same condition that he was in in that photo. Mr. Vaughn is using a pamper to use the bathroom. He's depending on the inmates to change his pamper. He hasn't brushed his teeth. They haven't gave him any bath, any bath or anything. His hygiene is horrible. He had filthy clothes on and it's a wound on his stomach that is bleeding pus and blood outside of it. Mr. Vaughn obtained three lawyers, um, Harry Daniels, Lee Merritt and Benjamin Crump. And that is who will be representing him. Cassie, when you first posted these pictures on social media, you received these pictures with a message that said, get help. Tell us how you were 
uh, alerted to the condition of uh, your brother? I was alerted by a fellow inmate inside of Elmore Correctional Facility. I want to remind everybody, nobody from the medical staff contacted the family. Nobody from the correction staff contacted the family. None of the uh, faculty, excuse me, none of the administrative workers contacted the family. They were contacted by way of another inmate, an individual temporarily incarcerated with Mr. Vaughn. They had more heart than the people who are paid to care for Mr. Vaughn. What happened to Mr. Vaughn? Mr. Vaughn had an intestinal issue. He was not given the proper medical attention immediately according to the narrative. He was then rushed into surgery. They removed his small intestine. And then according to other inmates was left without proper care. Nobody cleaned his wounds. It led to infection and many things happened after that. And then one of the inmates said, I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to violate protocol here. I'm going to risk my own safety inside of this facility, my own freedom. Because they will put you on lockdown. They will punish you for things like this. They decided to push these photos directly out to the free world in order to get justice for Mr. Vaughn. Last night, I received a call and confirmation this morning that Mr. Vaughn was visited by members of the Department of Justice. They are now involved. All right, moving in the right direction. However, we still don't have what we want. We want Mr. Vaughn to be in a free world hospital with the medical care he deserves. Rather than being in another facility, they did transfer him out of Elmore Prison to another facility that Alabama claims is more medically appropriate. We disagree with that assertion. So does the family, so does Mr. Bond. Remember, what did Elmore Prison do? According to the sister, they took her off of the visitation list. They hung up on local media. They would not provide any information to anybody who inquired, not even the mother. Until this weekend, the family was able to see Mr. Vaughn in the horrible condition that he was in. The fight continues. Adrian Lawrence, as an attorney, obviously you see the malfeasance here. You see the opportunity for lawsuit, but at the core of it is the safety for Mr. Vaughn. Mr. Vaughn is being cared for by other inmates rather than a medical team. What are your thoughts here? Uh, I think this is a dereliction of duty when it comes to what those um, corrections officers are supposed to be doing in terms of caring for these inmates. They have been charged with this, they are paid for this. And it's clear that they're not doing their job and it's to the detriment of the health of Mr. Vaughn. And the thing that really also strikes me is that the Department of Justice sued Alabama's correctional facilities in 2020. That lawsuit is still going and it's set for trial now in November of 2024. So the DOJ has really Really been in the depths of Alabama's prison and its prison problem, particularly as it concerns constitutional rights and how they are treating inmates. And the fact that they are still willing to engage in this behavior in such a blatant way really tells you that they do not care. And so as I see now what is being done where we have yesterday having the Alabama inmates go on strike for better working conditions, for better conditions overall. It is so incredibly disheartening to know not only only is DOJ actively suing the Alabama Department of Corrections and how they do business in terms of how they're treating inmates, but also the inmates are rising up. It tells you there is a problem here. And as much as Alabama's Department of Corrections wants to say that it has no issue whatsoever, it's clearly just the opposite. And it's clear that Mr. Vaughn is a product of having a system that is as broken as Alabama's Department of Corrections. We are going to continue obviously to follow this story as it develops. Stay tuned for more highlights, all right? More updates to come.